Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of unit conversions. This is standard 5.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 off the 2021 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Fabio drinks two quarts of water each day. How many cups? So we're needing to convert from quarts to cups. Problem is, is if we're looking on our mathematics chart, there is no conversion straight from quarts to cups. We're gonna have to go through another measurement first. So you know what, let's, let's bring back something that I'm sure most of us have drawn at least once, probably third or fourth grade. This is our gallon guy. So if you've never drawn gallon guy, then you are definitely missing something. So gallon guy is something that we use to try to keep track of different units and different conversions within the customary system. So just like a regular person, gallon guy's got four limbs. And so we're gonna draw these four limbs right here. Looks like two arms, looks like two legs. And these are going to be quarts. So we're going to abbreviate them with their abbreviation of QT. And that's going to help us here. So let's first make sure we get this. We've got one gallon equals four quarts. And that makes sense because quarter, there's four quarters in a dollar. When you quarter something, you cut it into four equal parts. So just like the word half equals the fraction one half, this quarter is another word for the fraction one fourth. And we've got third for the fraction one third. So that quart is really easy to remember. That's quarter four parts. So we need two of these quarts. Fabio's drinking two of these quarts of water each day, so let's just, let's pretend it's the, the legs here. All right, so we're gonna take these two, we're not gonna use all four quarts. We're gonna use these two quarts. What we need to know is what comes next. And if you look on your mathematics chart, you're gonna get this. You're gonna say, well, one quart equals two pints. So that's the next section down. So these two quarts each are going to have two pints. And this is where it stops looking like a human because it looks like they've got hooves. But we're going to put little pints right here. So suddenly this two quarts right here that we're dealing with these two quarts right here, as you can see, We've got one, two, three, we've got four pints. Now, we don't want four cups, so we're gonna get rid of this. That is just, a, it's the correct number, but it's obviously the incorrect unit. We need to go one more layer down, and each pint, so here's our last unit conversion that we need, one pint equals two cups. So one gallon is four quarts, one quart is two pints, one pint is two cups. So at the end of each of these feet slash hooves down here, let's just put a, it's going to look like a U, but it's actually like a C that's just pointing down. So these are your cups. So each pint has got two cups. So one gallon's got four quarts, two pints in a quart, two cups in a pint. And so what we can see here is that we've got our two quarts equals four pints. And so really what we're doing here is we're now going to kind of skip the quarts. Let's come down here and let's count our cups. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight cups because there's four pints and each of those pints has got two cups in it. So that means our answer is not going to be B or C, it is going to be D, eight cups.